Hi, everyone, and welcome to round one of the Chessable British Chess Championships 2022. We're live here from Torquay is International Master Malcolm Payne. Hello. Grandmaster Matthew Sadler. And I'm going to take you through the games today, and uh, we're going to start here. On board one. On board on one. one. Where else? So, so yeah, this is uh, Nick against uh, uh, Big like uh, Yeah. So let's uh, let's uh, walk through because I'm. Uh, it's not completely obvious how we might have reached this position. So, uh, uh, D4 it knight f like A3 queens Indian to me. It yeah. absolutely is, Malcolm. So not seen very much nowadays. I mean, G3 has really uh, replaced virtually everything. Um, but A3 is still a, still a decent weapon. And uh, yeah, this is the old-fashioned line, takes, takes, E3, and then G6, which was uh, the court noise uh, novelty all these years ago. Yep. Um, who yep. You used it against Karpov, no? it was It was against, yeah, that's right, that's right. So it was a uh, pretty good idea. Just um, um, you're going to get into some sort of Grunfeld structure uh, because if we're lucky, we're going to take on C3. We're going to go uh, bishop to G7. Um, oops, sorry, we're going to go knight C3. We're going to go bishop G7 and then go C5 at some stage. So a um, lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff happened. Bishop B5 check. Very common idea here just to um, force black to to, uh, to block the bishop with c6. I mean, black will play c5 later, so it's not a um, you know not it's not a huge uh, not a huge thing, but uh, it just means that black's kind of committed to a plan with uh, with c5 basically. So bishop g7 castles castle. Oh, you, 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 you'd think so, Matthew, but uh... <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. But here Nick uh, plays um, uh, a move which is quite logical. I mean, uh, I think. I do seem to remember that knight a4, knight a4 has been played uh, mm -hmm. in this position. The idea is simply to avoid knight takes c3, so you can play knight a4, and then you can play e4 later. Uh, I seem to remember that that has been uh, played. Knight e4 from Nick is not something I'm ab absolutely that familiar with, but the idea is the same: avoid knight takes c3, and you'll try and get your knight somewhere out and play e4 and just chase away the black knight without giving black any, uh, you know, this sort of. Uh, pressure along the h8 uh, a1 diagonal so costs a little bit of time but um uh yeah so queen e7 played um i guess the black wasn't keen on uh, knight d7 knight d6 which would uh, actually just nab that uh, that bishop give black uh, white the bishop pair and then get give e4 so black played queen e7 which feels slightly odd uh, in some ways but um mm -hmm. um but okay it might well be uh be necessary. I'd be thinking more about putting the queen on c7, really. But uh, yeah, yeah, e7 played. Uh, so knight g3, knight d7 played, and now e4. Actually, this is uh, and this is turning out to be very, very nice for white. I think knight c7, and then bishop g5, which is uh, a slightly irritating move. The queen on e7. Yeah, where's it going to go? It doesn't really want to go to d6. That looks a bit risky. e8 is a bit risky. So black plays uh, f6, and now bishop e3. I thought Bishop F4 might have been at least as challenging for Black. I mean, I wanted to try and tempt Black to play E5. Your words a minute ago, Malcolm. Yeah. Bishop E3 offends me. No. <laughs> oh, that was a different. That was a different Bishop that was offending me. <laughs> that, was, that was Danny's Bishop. Oh, uh, Danny's. Me. Danny's. Yeah. In, in, stay, stay in context. In context. But um, uh, yeah, yeah, interesting. I mean, uh, I mean, I want to get a position where Black's got a pawn on an isolated one on e5, and it just felt felt very nice. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I, I guess I'll take with a knight first. You would, yeah. yeah. I think I so. Know. Well, I mean, just just the idea, I suppose. Yeah, maybe knight e6, something like this. Mm. Could go king h8, I suppose, as well. Maybe. Um, yeah. Not sure. Not sure. I don't know how bad this is for Black, really, because uh, we've got. We've got a few a few ideas, you know, c5, knight f4, rook d8, h5 to h4. Yeah, it, I, look, I don't know, to me it seemed unpleasant, but uh, yeah. Not, maybe not maybe sure. it's, maybe in, a, maybe in a way the stronger player just wants to keep pieces on lock for a longer mm -hmm. though. So, so what's yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think bishop b3 is, is quite natural. I mean, here, uh, Victor's gone yeah. um, uh, e5, e5 anyway. anyway. Uh, C5 was also, I mean, we've got to watch out for rook C1s. I mean, this knight is not well placed on C7, so E5 is interesting. And now Nick's got to, got to think of a plan, really. 
Um, but I think, yeah, I mean, in general, we, we don't need to do anything too too crazy right now. I'm mean, just trying to think what what Black might play. I mean, C5 is is an idea for uh, for Black. Um, the idea would be, I, I guess, that um, that if we play um, uh, C5, if you go D5, I could go round to E8. Um, mm. That's possible. Um, I mean, F5 for the moment doesn't look like it's uh, going to be possible. There's always going to be some little tricks, but uh, um, I mean, just in general, you know, from a, a white point of view, B4 would be uh, quite a, um, a natural move just to uh, stop C5, try and keep that bishop a little passive, and. Uh, um, yeah, and just basically ask, you know, Black, what are you going to do in the uh, in the center here? Um, obviously, uh, the standard reaction H4 is actually quite interesting here as well, because um, I think once this pawn gets to H5, it's it's actually quite, yeah, quite a, an unpleasant little um, little problem for uh, for Black. And if you do play Not something H4, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, and if you do play something like h5, then I mean, any counterplay with uh, with f5 is just never going to happen. So I think you you know I don't know something like this, for example, and then you play rook e1, queen b3. I don't know rook c1. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, have yeah. a feeling with white yeah. that you're starting to get some lovely control here. So um, will be hard for black to make some counterplay. So yeah, I don't know. You, I quite you, like uh, yeah. quite like this for me. I like that, Matthew. I like that. I like the way you do that because more or less any any way that Black tries to change the pawn structures just seems to make life even more difficult for him. Yeah, I, so, I think so. I mean, he takes d4. Yeah. You know, I mean, you take that probably back with a knight uh, and then go. Yep. You know, you look for f4. Uh, and yep. I, I think you know it, it's quite funny, really, because White's done the same thing on both sides. Gone bishop b5 to 4 c6 and bishop g5 to 4 c6, <laughs> yes. and it just means that these two guys are really, you know. And I mean, you can't, you know, Black can't also really contemplate playing a bishop a6 because then c6 is weak. So, yeah, so it's, it's not it's not really clear to me why why yeah. how or why we Nick's got such a good position, but it, it's a really good one. I think um, I think I like this very much for uh, for, uh, for. Well, for I, I, I I think it's a good Matthew I, Matthew. I think it's a I think it's a good position because Black didn't manage to get c5 or knight takes c3 in. Mm. Um. Yeah, I mean, it might well be that um, actually that and it, in, and in this in position, you know, knight takes c3 and castles space, was, he, so. was, was more accurate. You know, it might well be that uh, delaying knight takes c3. Castles. That move, yeah, it wrong. could be that castles yeah. was a slight inaccuracy, you know, and that knight e4 is actually quite uh, an irritating idea against that. Might be. Might yep. be, uh, you know, and it might be that if Black had just taken on c3 and gone castles, then he's almost automatically achieving his c5. You know, that might be better. Yep. Um, especially as White's, you know, White's castle quite early. I mean, you're a little bit nervous about about um, uh, playing knight takes c3 too early when White hasn't castled because h4 to yeah. h5 is quite dangerous, you know, obviously. But um, uh, but now that now that White's castled, I think it might have been the the perfect moment just to yeah. do this, and then uh, and then you're 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 almost automatically getting in c5. Looks natural. Maybe. I do have to say, for me, you've frozen, Natasha and uh, and uh, and Malcolm, and I can't actually hear what you're saying anymore. So it's just a just a uh, um, a warning there. Um, I'm going to carry on looking through more positions. If you can hear me, that's great. If not, then it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess. So we've got Neil Bradbury against Mark Hebden. Blast from the past, this one. Uh, so King's Indian. Um, Knight C3, classical. And Mark, actually, uh, quite surprisingly, I mean, uh, he's always played the, played the Mar del Plata, as far as I can remember, with Knight C6. But here playing Knight A6, which actually is um, uh, the favourite line of, uh, of Leela when you did it run for... Uh, years ah okay 